influence within the movement. Marcos Gav is a prophet. Marcos Gav tells us we must look to the east for the king. And the king come. 1930s majesty. Come on, you know, and I, and I see him. From them time there. Till it could have come, that's I could have come knew him at this time. Marcos Gavi, you know, up till now Marcos Gavi prophecy go on forever. You know, there's a lot of things Marcos Gavi say, and a lot of it come to pass. But some still live, and everyone see it. I mean, get more, more stronger, you know, in reality. As everything when I say them time <coughs> happened today, and everyone see it happening. Well played. Okay, this is kind of personal. I'd like to know about the the assassination attempt on you. I haven't heard anything about what the government is doing <coughs> with it. And I hear that your song <coughs> Ambush is like directly related to that experience. And I'd like to know what what is the government? I haven't heard anything else. No one's been apprehended. Yeah, yeah, the truth. We don't want nobody to do nothing about nothing, you know. You know we don't want the government to do anything about anything or anything like that. Ambush is, you know, ambush make us stronger, you know. Because everyone knows to his majesty why I live. So, you know what I mean? I can't really deal with it on a different level. We deal with it like how God deal with it. It's true in where we live. So to the moment it says majesty is God, we can prove it. You know what I mean? More than proof. <laughs> if we're relating to the music, where specifically did the reggae beat itself come from? Good, why are Good man. Yeah, the reggae beat originally come from the, the Africans we see them here with African music and we're Africans scattered abroad. So it come as a kind of rebellion against just playing music for just gaiety or for just merriness and just, you know, without no consciousness. You know, without no consciousness. Come up as a consciousness. It close, when you say reggae, it's like you say Rasta. So it's the music to liberate your mind. And it's only music right now where actually I speak directly to the people instead of carrying them around in fantasy or showing them something else, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, fantasy is the thing right now, you know? The more you can go into fantasy, the bigger you'll be in the fantasy world. But ra Rasta music deal with ground nation, reality, the things that you must confront. So it's just, that's what it's all about. <laughs> I've heard uh, reggae music described by an African artist as African rhythms with Jamaican feeling. Does that seem to... Yeah, that's almost like what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, about music. I was in Ghana this summer and everyone loves the whalers. They just love them. But it's really hard to get music. Their, your albums there because it's so expensive. And I was talking to Neville earlier and he's telling me that you're establishing a base in West Africa. Are you touring there also? Yeah, I try. I don't really do it yet, but you know, I try to do it. Okay. That would be really, really looking forward to it. Really. When you're composing your songs, uh, where do your greatest revelations and stimulations come from? Do you know, a lot of people might say, do you get it riding on the bus? Do you get it when you're at late at night? Or when you have herb and you're feeling good? I mean, revelations come <laughs> wide through God. How, how do they come to you? They just go here. <laughs> 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 I can't time it. Come in the time. Don't come 10, 12, and let me come in the time. Many ideas come to you while you're out there, you know, but it seems that through the inspiration of his majesty, he really wants a certain message at the time to go to the people, so he kind of inspire and I to bring out the right message, so we have to give thanks for that. <laughs> because like, if you listen to rock Survivor right now, I feel it's very relevant, you know, to the time. And that's what we have to try and keep doing, you know, keep it. It's easy to go in the studio and just make up, you know, something to sell, you know.